So I want to welcome you to Jesse Square, to the South of Market neighborhood, and to SF MoMA and SF MoMA on the go. I'm Neil Benezra, director of SF MoMA. And I think, first of all, we want to thank the Balboa High School Band for providing the intro. Thank you so much. You know, today we mark a fundamental milestone in this project. Uh, and I have to say we're as thrilled as we could possibly be to have you all here with us today. This is a very special moment for us. So welcome. Um, in a few moments, we're going to uh, welcome Mayor Lee to speak. But I want to offer, first of all, my special thanks right up front for ordering up the weather. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for taking care of that for us. Uh, but, but in all seriousness, welcome. And thanks for taking time out of your busy day, Mayor Lee. You know, when our museum moved to the South of Market neighborhood in 1995, we felt very much like pioneers. And yet, since, when, uh, since we opened our doors in 1995 on Third Street, our collections, our programs, our audiences have all grown exponentially. In the last 20 years, the, the Soma neighborhood has grown up around us and become the cultural heart and the cultural heartbeat of San Francisco. Soma today is filled with cultural organizations, hotels, restaurants, and tourism, and we are the innovation hub of the city without question. Now, just 15 months ago, we broke ground on our new 235,000 square foot, 10-story edition, and our new building has been ascending skyward ever since. Today, in just a few moments, we're going to mark a second major milestone in the project, the topping off of our uh, museum. In the tradition of building construction, it is customary to hold a topping out ceremony. And for those of you who are not familiar with this, the topping out is when the uppermost steel beam is lifted into place and a building reaches its full height. You might say today that we're raising the roof on the new SF MoMA. The most, the most, important, the most important milestone for this project, though, is the one that, and the one really that matters most, will come in 2016 in the spring when we reopen to the public. As we approach this, new, this next chapter in the future SF MoMA, we invite you to contribute, continue to contribute to play a key role in making this dynamic neighborhood a stronger center for innovation, creativity, and civic dialogue. But in 2016, we'll invite all of you to an SF MoMA that will have nearly tripled its gallery space and will be filled with some of the greatest works of art of the contemporary period. We will invite every one of you to visit an expanded ground floor, 40,000 square feet, of art-filled, free-access museum space. We will invite students and teachers to participate in dramatically expanded education programs. And we will invite anyone, anyone age 18 or under, to visit the museum entirely free of charge. <laughs> we will also invite everyone to a smart museum, an SF MoMA that's filled with opportunities for digital engagement. And we will invite all of you to experience all of this in Snowheda's innovative new building design. It's an architectural design that is more open and more deeply woven into the urban fabric of this neighborhood uh, than we have been before. And most important of all, we will continue to invite you to partner with us in making the art of our time a central part of San Francisco. Now, it's certainly no secret, everyone knows it, that we've been closed for construction since, uh, since last June. But I would argue that through the many SF MoMA on-the-go relationships and partnerships that we have formed, in fact, SF MoMA has been more open than ever before. We're working terribly hard inside the building to create an even better museum in 2016. But at the same time, we have challenged ourselves to think and work outside the brick box, quite literally and quite figuratively. And we have been actively experimenting with new ways and new ideas for fostering and a stronger tie locally and regionally. Through SF MoMA on the go, our extensive off-site programming initiative, we've been busy sharing works with museums in the community, out throughout the community and around the Bay Area. We've been offering, a, I'd like to offer a special shout out to some of our special partners here today. Uh, and I want to begin with Lori Starr, who is the director of the Contemporary uh, Jewish Museum, on whose doorstep we gather this morning and who hosts the Contemporary Jewish Museum hosted the first of our on-the-go programs way back last summer. I also want to recognize Deborah Cullinan, who is the executive director of the Yerba Buena Center for the Arts. 
with whom we partnered earlier this year, and Linda Harrison, director of the Museum of the African Diaspora, just around the corner from us, with whom we'll be partnering early next year. I also want to thank Randall Klein of SF Jazz, who is here with us and here with the San Francisco Jazz High School All-Stars, who are going to be performing a little bit later on. SF Jazz has hosted a number of our public programs over the course of the last year, and they've been wonderful partners as well. We currently have two partnership exhibitions that I want to commend to you. First of all, the gorgeous exhibition. That's the title. It's also pretty gorgeous as well, which is presented, has been presented this summer at the Asian Art Museum. It closes on Sunday, so don't waste a minute. It's, it's going to go away fast, and you won't want to miss it. Uh, and just last night, we opened a wonderful new exhibition at the uh, California College of the Arts, uh, CCA's Wattis Institute, restating our long-standing commitment to young and emerging artists, both regionally, uh, nationally, and internationally. Next week, we open another exhibition, this one titled Fertile Ground, which op opens at the Oakland Museum of California, a partnership exhibition that explores the rich history of art in Northern California. And we're also thrilled to have strengthened, and we continue to strengthen our ties with the San Francisco Unified School District. And it's great to have the Balboa High School Band here as, to symbolize that partnership. As I think you know, and as I think you can tell, we are incredibly excited about the work that we're doing. And we're very, very pleased to be facing uh, the future with great optimism and great, great pride. So we so appreciate it. Your, uh, your presence here today, stay with us. 2016 will be here before you know it. Now, at the forefront of this effort is Charles Schwab, who is the chairman of SF MoMA's Board of Trustees. Chuck, I would say, is not only the superlative chair of our board and leader of our museum, but as I have come to understand in the years that Chuck has served as our board chair and I work with him so closely, Chuck is a passionate advocate, not just for our museum, but for the cultural life and the quality of life in San Francisco and in the Bay Area. Simple words are sometimes best. Without Chuck, we simply would, none of us would be here today. So what I'd like to do is welcome Chuck Schwab to the podium. And thank you all. Well, thank you, Neil. Thank you so much. Boy, what a wonderful turnout. Thank you for all coming to our Topping Out party. So many of my friends are here, but more importantly, so many fellow San Franciscans are here. And of course, this is where I am so lucky to have started a company here 40-some years ago. So I owe so much to this city and the people who have worked for our company and, of course, who also do the museum thing. So it's a great place to, to give back. This is a great moment for our museum. Uh, the topping out is... Uh, we're well over halfway to our completion of the museum. It'll be open in spring of 2016. And SF MoMA has been, a, in my view, been a beacon, been a small beacon, but it will become a giant beacon for the San Francisco. You'll be able to see, as you can see right now, the steel structure there. You'll be able to see it from the freeways coming from the, from the west, from the east, from the north. It's going to be a beacon. I think every one of you will want to be a participant in. Your friends from all over will travel here to see what it is about. It's going to be fantastic for tourism. If you're in the tourist business, it's going to really boom your business, I think. If you're in the food service business, it's going to be fantastic for you. If you're in the hotel business, it's going to be great. And just for your own personal pleasure, it's going to be great to visit there. The new museum is designed to just be a big magnet for visitors. And also, coupled with that, is our education program for youngsters. We're going to really double, triple the effort there, And as Neil had mentioned. The three things that I wanted to emphasize today that I thought were pretty important to all of you here as a public, this entire museum has been built by private fundraising. It's really pretty incredible what the generous Aussie. I think. And Mayor Lee, who I'll introduce here in a moment, he's very happy about that. We didn't go into the city coffers whatsoever. There's another part of that whole story is about the partnership between 
three ent ent entrepreneurs and people who have been successful in life, who give back, has been also the city's also has the first new firehouse in 40 years over on Folsom Street. And they love it. The firemen all love it. So we can be very happy about the successful trade that we had with the city and the fire people and the museum. And I guess what I'm most proud of, and I think it's really something that I feel really strongly about, and Neil has mentioned, but we're making the museum admission free to everyone 18 and under. Boy, we have a, that'll just be fantastic. For our grandkids, I now have 12 grandkids and one on the way, so. Anyway, this huge effort and contribution is gonna change the landscape of San Francisco, I think, for another notch upward. And yeah, I think we can all be really proud about that. And of course, nothing great ever happens, in my view, without the support of our civic leaders. And there's a friend of mine who has been a great partner from the very beginning of this effort, and that is our mayor here in San Francisco, Ed Lee. Ed, please come up, Ed. Buenos dias. Uh, Chuck, thank you for that introduction. And again, thank you for your leadership in the city, not just in the business community, but in the philanthropy uh, arena where, yes, it's right, we don't have to look to the city coffers, but I, I think our city is rich in many, many other ways. Most importantly, it's people. Whether they're business leaders, or they're philanthropists like the Fisher family, or they're in the arts community, or they're reflected in all the people that are helping me improve schools and get this economy excited and started. Our city is very, very rich in many, many other ways, not just in the wealth of money. And so I am very lucky to be the mayor of San Francisco. Uh, I also know that this is an international city. And that, uh, that's why I just completed the trip to Mexico City. But, you know, to come back here and to receive the uh, weather warmth that our protocol chief has made for us, I, I blame as well as thank her for this wonderful sunny side of our city. Thank you, Charlotte, for your wonderful leadership as well. You know, we're about to uh, top off, and we've got these wonderful little swag, but I've a I was asking uh, Joel D'Alessandro, what else, what other uses can we have for this after the topping off today? And I think one of the uses is that we will literally see, Chuck, and to the Board of Trustees, and Neil, to you and Ruth, and your wonderful work, is on average, we have some 16 million visitors from around the world that come to San Francisco. This will allow us to see the 17th million visitor to San Francisco because of this SF MoMA. The other practical use is this will assist me, and I won't have to ask Chuck where my golf ball is. I will actually just use this when we play golf together. I want to thank uh, our great artists, our designers, uh, who are incredibly helping us view this museum as it tops off today. Our contract uh, workers and all the subcontractors that have had the privilege uh, to have uh, this wonderful opportunity. Our firefighters, Chief John Hayes White is not with us today. She's uh, going to be leading uh, with Leader Pelosi in Washington DC, of course, in honor of the 9-11 tomorrow. So she couldn't be here, but I tell you, she's one of the most excited of our departments, uh, along with so many of our other departments who appreciate uh, just this fine relationship that we've had with a brand new, uh, one of the first and perhaps only uh, new stations that we've had. And you're absolutely right. The firefighters enjoy that place. It's going to serve uh, for many generations, but to have a brand new fire station as part of an expansion of a wonderful world-class museum. No other city gets to get this kind of announcement, to be quite truthful. We're very unique in that respect. But there's also continue to be stories told by our SF MoMA. Did you know that on an annual basis, the museum has professional development and training for all of our teachers in elementary, middle, and high school? Over 2,000 teachers get that professional development because of SF MoMA. How about that as an accomplishment? 
when this expansion is done in 2016, and I can't wait for that, it'll triple the number of kids from kindergarten to high school that visit this museum, triple that number because of the way that they've done this, the monies that have been raised to support our youth in this city. You know, when museums and when institutions do that for our youth, Chuck, you get my attention right away because you know how enthusiastic I am for our youth in this city. This is a world-class museum. And Chuck and the Board of Trustees were offered the opportunity to not only raise the money, but to receive the collection of the Fisher family with grace, with the honor it deserves. So Don, of course, and, and Doris is here today. Bob and the entire Fisher Family Foundation, thank you. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to demonstrate our response to your family's collaboration with our city. And again, that's just another neat part of the history of our city. It keeps evolving. And to have a world-class museum, you know what that means to me? Everybody thinks that us calling ourselves the innovation capital of the world simply reflects on the technology that's going on. Well, you can't have innovation without it being stimulated among our people. Art does that. Art stimulates our ability and our willingness to innovate in every aspect of our life. That is why we are really the innovation capital of the world. That's also why our city reflects some fantastic arts institutions. You see it right behind me, you see it right here, you see it Yerba Buena across the street. And now with this new, fantastic and beautiful, I can't wait to be in this building, but I'll be content today to see it topped off but clearly, I'm going to make sure these contractors who continue to work very safely, uh, WebCore and all the others that are here that are doing fantastic work, they're helping to build the city of the future. Snowetta is here to help us design our city of the future. But it's happening right here. It's happening with people who care about this city, who's demonstrated time and time again. And let me again thank uh, not only the Board of Trustees, not only Chuck and his wonderful leadership on that board, but also the entire business community, the entire arts community, all of the, the philanthropic families and friends that we've had. Our art commission is here. Uh, also extremely excited to see this go up and stimulate our economy. This will stimulate a creative economy in San Francisco for generations to come. Not just in the kids, but for all of us who need stimulation, quite frankly, because we're all about the potholes and the muni buses running on time and, and everybody getting through. But once in a while, we need that stimulation. So again, thank you. Thank you for the vision, Chuck, that this represents. This is all about vision. And also thank you to all of you for celebrating this wonderful occasion. I look forward to walking in with you on the very first day in 2016. Thank you very much for being here. OK, so let's raise the roof. <laughs> to do so, I'm going to invite my, my close colleague, Ruth Burson, who is the Deputy Director for Curatorial Affairs at the museum to actually uh, cue the, the raising of that beam. Uh, Ruth, about two or three years ago, I asked to take the lead on behalf of me and the staff on the design of the project, working very closely with WebCore and Snowhead and the construction team, everybody involved, and she's done an extraordinary, exceptional job. So Ruth, come on up and let's put a roof on this baby. Wow, we are uh, we're at an amazing moment today. Thank you so much, Neil. Um, while this is a public moment, I, uh, there is a lot of gratitude due to a core dream team. And I just want to take a moment. Um, some of them have been mentioned so far. Uh, some of them maybe not. Uh, our dream team consists of uh, Chuck, our board chair, Bob Fisher, our president, Diana Nelson in charge of the campaign, and maybe my closest colleague on the uh, c construction of this uh, glorious expansion, Dennis Wong, who heads up the committee, and of course our inimitable director, 
uh, Neil Benezra. There are many others that deserve our gratitude today. What would you say when you had found an architect who specializes in unique, site-responsive cultural buildings that reflect your community and deliver terrific art experiences? What would you say when their architecture of civic engagement met and exceeded your highest expectations with a design that not only delights, but actually functions? You'd say, thank you, Snohetta. And so, if I may, I'd like to ask Chittle Thorson and Craig Dykers and the rest of the design team to join me up here on the podium. And what would you say if you found a <laughs> what would you say if you found a construction firm that gets what it means to build a bespoke, one-of-the-kind building for modern and contemporary art here in San Francisco? One that does so while putting quality and safety, like the, like the mayor mentioned, in all that they do. You'd say, thank you, WebCore. And so if I may, Jess, Jess Peterson and Matt Rossi, could you join me up here on the podium? And what would you say if you found a local architect, Snohetta's hand-in-hand -hand glove partner who supported the project every step of the way, who gave it a, a San Francisco flair and was scrupulous to every detail of the work? You'd say, thank you, EHDD. And Duncan Balish, if you can join us up here, that would be wonderful. Just two more shout outs before we raise the beam. To the staff and volunteers of SFMOMA, you can tell who they are. They look a little bit tired, but they are very, very proud. Raise your hands, all of you now. All right, woohoo! And now, lastly, to all of you, our community, who've supported us at the War Memorial Museum at, uh, down in the Civic Center area, who supported us when we opened up our facility on Third Street, just over here who've joined us as we've been on the go, and who are here today to celebrate this milestone. We aim to mean more to more people, and so we couldn't be more thrilled to have you here with us today. I'd like to give a warm welcome also to the amazing 15-drum cadence group that we're gonna be hearing from at the same time. You can see them over here on my left as the Balboa High School band in just a moment. But now together, let's signal that we're ready to raise the beam. Ready? Let's go. <laughs>
the Batala Drum Corps. Neil, maybe you have a, a few remarks. I simply want to close by thanking you all so much for being here. We hope you'll stay around. We've got food, we've got drink, we've got Batala, we've got the SF Jazz High School group. Stay around. It's warm out here. Get a, get a cold drink. But again, stay with us. N next stop, 2016. Thank you all.